Do it. All right, everybody, give it up for Sean Flanagan. Thanks, everybody. I'm Sean Flanagan. And if you couldn't guess, my ancestors are from Ireland. Uh, if you couldn't guess by my accent, they hightailed it out of there about 100 years ago and came over here. They said, look, all we got is bagels, pizzas. They said it tastes a lot better than the famine, so we'll take it. We can we'll work with what we got. Um, I'm from Manhattan. I'm from New York City. Uh, a lot of people don't believe me when I say that. They say you're too nice. You're too kind to be from New York City. I smile at people on the subway. <laughs> Maybe that gives it away. Anybody else here from New York? Woo! I think I heard one woo. Do you smile at people? No. 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 <laughs> you sure you're not Russian? No. Oh, they don't smile at people. No. Yeah, they don't. They're <laughs> Let me see. I. <laughs> I grew up in um, downtown New York in the 90s. Uh, I grew up in Tribeca when it still stood for uh, Triangle Below Canal, not try being a gazillionaire to live down here. Um, there was one stretch of road right near where I grew up uh, that we called Condom Road. It was on Greenwich and Canal. It was where rubber met the road, literally. There were used condoms everywhere on the street uh, because there was a prostitution ring there were about six or seven trailers. Um, ladies of the night is what our mom told us uh, what happened there. So of course we went out at night to see kind of what happened. Um, and the story that I'm about to tell you, I'm still piecing it together, but uh, essentially we stole from a prostitution ring. There was a, a sock full of pennies uh, and we were saving up for a porno bag around the corner. Um, so we stole the pennies and bought the porno bag. That is a, uh, you know, <laughs> grand porno heist, if I've ever heard of one. Um, I also grew up uh, before 9-11. That prostitution ring conspicuously disappeared right after the terrorists came. Um, and there was no ferry system. Today I took the ferry. I thought it was super wholesome. I was on the top deck and it was a beautiful view of the city. And uh, I, I was looking, there was a family in front of me and this this nine-year-old girl had a disposable Kodak, it was so cute. Her mom had the baby, they were like pointing over the railing and shit. And the, the girl went out to, to take a picture of them pointing to uh, the Manhattan skyline. And the baby reached out and smacked the disposable camera into the water. Um, <laughs> I tried really hard not to laugh. But I feel like if that's like if you were on uh, Santa's sled with your brand new iPhone 15 Pro, uh, ready to take a picture of Rudolph, and he just reached out and smacked that shit out of your ass. <laughs> um, let's see what else. I'm 31 this year. Uh, I guess you can clap for that. That's great. Uh, when I was a kid, and I thought about turning 31. I never thought about turning 31 once. I, I had thought about turning 13. That was sick. That was like, oh, this kid's 13. There was one kid uh, down the street in Long Island, my grand grandfather's house. He would always say, go play in the traffic. We'd go play with this kid. He was 13. That kid was nuts. Uh, he smoked cigarettes that he found on the street, and he jumped off of his roof onto a trampoline. His name was Zach Miller. That's what they said in the news that night. He was 13. Now he's in Rikers. Um, 31 adulting, now I, uh, you know, buy groceries, put pants on, uh, pay my taxes, um, and I am a school teacher, I teach kids, uh, trying to get them to do some group projects right now, and of course the only uh, partner they want for any group project is ChatGPT. They start chanting the second group projects get announced. GPT. I'm like, what's the big deal? They're like, GPT stands for Greatly Preferable Teacher. I'm like, God. <laughs> so one kid did it, and he came up to the front of the room, and he's like, yeah, check this out. I just made 300 slides. I'm like, all right, start from the top. He's like, well, they're all about how teachers are obsolete, and we don't need to. I'm like, all right, well, if you can just grab a seat. You don't need to run all of this. Um, I think I just want to close out with um, 
you know, one story the kids are telling me about AI is that apparently someone already built AI Jesus, and he's coming this Christmas. <laughs> apparently he's coming soon. He's going to come down on Christmas Day uh, and turn all of our water into Wi-Fi. So thanks, everybody. That's my time. Um, for the record, they're not ladies of the night. They're sex workers. <laughs> it's 2023. Um, all right, guys, we have our final two comics. 